Hey guys, welcome to Emily's Robotronics. In this series of robot controller videos, we'll be seeing the use of Flowcore AVR programming IDE for programming this robot controller M1 board. So as you all know, or you know, I don't know if you know or you don't know, Flowcore AVR is a software from a company called matrix multimedia and uh, the speciality about this software is that you can write programs to your robot controller board or any series of uh, ABR microcontroller in the form of flowcharts so you know flowcharts is very easy to write for any given problem statement but converting this flow chart to a high level programming to a high level program or a source code is very much difficult for those folks out there who are hesitant to write your own code for your uh, robotic projects or your microcontroller projects you can use this IDE wherein you can simply write your flow charts draw your flow charts and uh, you can program so we'll in this episode of a robot controller series of videos we'll see how to make this board compatible with the IDE and how we can write a simple LED blinking blinking program and uh, how we'll transfer that uh, LED blinking program to this microcontroller and uh, using that as a baseline or a foundation you can come up with as many projects as you want so let's quickly start up with the preparation of the IDE so the very first step that you would want to do is uh, open up the robot controller M1 description so you'll find this PDF file with the DVD that you get once you buy the device and uh, as you scroll down you should see a section which says configuration for using robot controller M1 for use with flow code AVR so these are the steps that you would want to follow to prepare your uh, flow code AVR ID to be compatible with your Arduino ID, your robot controller M1 board so flow code AVR M1 I mean the flow code AVR IDE you can download from matrix multimedia website but uh, this IDE is not a freeware so I do, so you can find any other source of any other source for your IDE or as an alternative I have provided the IDE there's a older version of the IDE that I've provided which is 3.xx I don't remember the further version number so you can use that IDE which is provided in the DVD for uh, your projects. So all that you need to do is install the flow code AVR IDE just like you install any other software. So once you have installed it, you should see an icon which uh, appears on the screen now. So this is a flow code AVR, flow code for AVR microcontrollers. So that's about it. So you get flow code. IDs for uh, several different microcontrollers which varies from PIC microcontroller to AVR and also covering the ARM series of microcontrollers so for our case robot controller M1 uses an AVR microcontroller so we'll be using a flow code AVR ID 
So looking at the first uh, two steps, which is click on the chip button on the toolbar and click on the compiler option. So these two options are supposed to be done once you have launched the IDE. So there you see which says flow code AVR, no limits, no code. And uh, okay, I'll click on create a new flow code flow chart. Okay, and here I need to select a device or uh, the microcontroller that I'm using. So here in our case, it's the Atmega 8. So I'll click on Atmega 8. So once you have selected your uh, microcontroller, you should see a window like this. So this main window, what you see here is uh, where you would be drawing your uh, flowcharts. I'll be doing uh, more videos on how uh, to design your flowcharts and that would be done in another video so for now it's our aim to configure uh, flow code avr to be able to program with our microcontroller so let's look at the steps what it says it says uh, click on chip button on the toolbar and click on uh, compiler option so there you see uh, once you click on chip button you, you see uh, you see another window you see an option called compiler option so let me just do that chip and compiler option okay there you see a pop-up window and uh, going back to the instructions it says find the programmer section in the pop-up window and uh, in the parameters field replace the data with the below lines as seen in the screenshot okay so what i need to do is i need to copy this line of code and paste it in the programmer window parameter list so i need to copy this and uh, paste it here so going back I'll click on parameters so ideally as a default you should see some parameters like this which is percentile a avr isp mk2 usb so that's the default uh, uh, programming interface defined in flow code so since we need uh, usb asp i'll copy that line and paste it down here so once you paste it it should look somewhat like this the same line of code and click on ok so there you have uh, your uh, flow code AVR ID all set up to be used with our uh, robot controller M1 board. So let's just so once we have done with that, let's simply uh, write a code which would be to glow the LED. So first thing is output. So between begin and end, I would like to place a while loop. So there you see while bond loop. So you simply need to drag and drop. Uh, the blocks and the code is automatically written in the back end so we'll cover how this is all done in a later part of the, um, in a different video so for now i need an output so once i double click on that there you see port d and uh, i'm making uh only okay let's quickly see which are the pin number so that is port d0 and d1 that we are going to use so i'll make d0 and d1 as high and uh, okay i'm writing a zero let me write three so three is nothing but uh, hexa value of uh, enabling these two so that i've done and then i put in a delay in between which is probably uh, one second here and then again another output block it says port d so i'll make it zero enough and use only these two pins okay and there you have i'll put another delay block here and change the delay to one second okay there you have i have my code ready so this code would turn on and turn off uh, the leds or what, I would, what i'll do is i'll turn the leds one by one so we just turn on only this led and then okay, i can use a uh, single bit so single bit one a zeroth bit that I'm operating. Okay, and I've made other variable as one. So what I'll do is like I'll switch on a bit, switch off, and switch on the other LED and switch it off. So I'll do it alternatively. So now you see both the single bit. Now the first bit, I'm making it one. Okay, there you see. I've turning it on. And after a second, I'm 
Okay, I should turn it off. Okay, so I've turned it on and after a second I've turned it off and I'm turning on the other LED and after a second I have to turn that off. Okay, it's a wrong block. I'll put block here and for D I have my single bit. That's the first bit to turn it off. So there you see if you look at the code D0 is on, then D0 is off, then D1 is on and D1 is off. Okay, I would want to put another block. Okay, which says one second. Okay, there I have there you see the code is very much uh, ready. So it's very simple steps that you need to do. So once you get a hang of uh, your flow chart, it's very easy, it's a, it's an easy to use ID. So let's prepare our hardware to uh, be able to program. So the very the three basic steps plug in your USB cable plug it to your PC and once you have that just get a check to see if you have uh, enabled if you have enabled uh, the USB power supply on and after you've done that enable the programming enable the programming mode and once you have done that click on the reset button and there you see uh, your board is now in the programming mode so once you have done that uh, you should uh, see that your uh, device is successfully recognized as a USB ASP that you can do it by doing uh, go to going to your uh, device manager and just checking if you see a device called USB ASP yeah, there you see you have the device successfully recognized now and all that I need to do is first uh, compile okay all that I need to do is uh, click on this button here so that button says okay so I don't see the options coming so this button says uh, program the chip and once you see that you see the flow the flow okay there, there you see a pop-up window which says the flow chart file must be saved before it can be compiled to C code do you wish to save the flow chart yes and uh, you can save your flow chart and once you save your flow chart it will be saved as dot fcf underscore avr so I'm saving it right now and uh, this option automatically uh, compiles your code and loads the code onto your uh, board so there you see the code is already successfully loaded onto the board and uh, the LEDs are blinking as we program so first an LED blinking that turning off and turning on another LED just let me just press the reset button to show you okay let me just press the reset button to show you how actually the program has been working so LED one on the other LED off and both of them turned on there you see each of the LEDs blinking one by one so there we have we have successfully programmed our, our microcontroller board that is our robot controller board with the flow code AVR and it's the easiest steps that we have seen and it's a easy to use IDE and it's a easy to use uh, robot controller board so there's unlimited stuff that you can do with this board and with the power of flowcharts so go ahead give a try with this board and with the IDE to program uh, uh, your robots with as simple as flow flowcharts thank you guys thanks for watching leave your comments below and thumbs up if you like the video and uh, if you want if you want me to do some more videos covering some more features of this board uh, do do post a comment or you can alternatively visit my site that's www.emlysrobotronics.in emlys-robotronics.in and you can leave your comments there as well under uh, the robot control the robotronics project section wherein uh, this project is a highlight there so thank you guys, thanks for watching.